Oh my goodness, Arms Corps Shooting Center. Marikina City, we're in Manila. Well, Mabuhai guys, welcome again. I'm now at um, Arms Corps Marikina, obviously. The reason why I came to this specific range, I've never been here before. It's known for being a little bit of a bigger range and outdoor. I usually go to the Makati indoor range. And I've done videos on that, plenty of videos, so coming on through. It's cool, yeah, got security. Here are the friends, so we just arrived. Got a nice big car park. There's a nice big one at the front. And here's the office area, so we'll go in there and talk with Okay, guys, very quick tour. Uh, we're still waiting for the manager. AJ's enjoying herself on this seat and the aircon. They got air conditioning in here. Just to give you guys an idea, this is just display, but they have ammunition for sale. This is a retail store, just like the other Arms Corps branches. So you can buy all your accessories, cleaning kits, all that. You have your gloves, holsters. Okay, so just like any other retail store. Obviously, you got, see that's a buttstock for like an AR-15 or, you know, M16. It's nice. Okay, nice. These are like shooting sleds, you know, you can use it to stabilize when you're doing marksmanship uh, or you're zeroing your weapons. But anyway, yeah, flashlights. As you can see, the office area. So we're still talking business, we're waiting for the manager. Your target paper. Oh, they got blades too. They got the cuchillo. Oh, nice. Okay. If that's what I think it is. Yeah, these are different 1911 frames. So for the competition shooters, oh yeah, and grips. Basically the parts, you can build it. Anyway, yeah, your cleaning kits. Okay. These are just some basic display guns. We're waiting for what's available for rent, but we're interested in shooting pistol. And maybe we'll try some other things, we'll see. Okay, so we're talking with the staff. I managed to get the 22 TCM, which is what I was so excited about. This is the very popular one in USA. It has interchangeable barrels, so you can swap between 9mm and 22 TCM. The reason why I'm so excited, it's the same sizing overall dimensions as 9mm, but it uses a 22 caliber bullet, so it's high velocity. So anyway, we'll give it a try. But you can also use 9mm magazines. Andre's going to try the beginner's package with a double stack 9mm 1911 as well. So meaning high capacity. Uh, great for beginners, nice solid metal frame, so it absorbs the recoil, easy to control. So the official rate, guys, is 3,000 pesos. I believe that's 50 rounds, Murray? Yes, sir. 50 rounds in target paper and safety equipment. Yes, yep. And this is Murray helping us out today. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, guys, so we'll talk a little more shop, we'll take care of business, and uh, we'll hit the range. Okay, guys, so um, Murray was... Is it Murray? Okay, which was very kind and brought out the ammo just for us to take a look at. This is the original TCM. You see how it's a little bit longer? This is the new TCM-R. The reason why R stands for, it's a shorter designation, so it fits the same dimensions as traditional 9mm. That way you can use it in the same magazines. So imagine if you had your favorite Glock 9, you could convert it with the barrel and the recoil spring and, and still use the same 9mm magazines, you know, just for parts commonality. But yeah, look at these stingers, man. See? Very small bullets are very high velocity. I heard it I heard it flies like a rifle. Shoots very flat, low recoil. And then here's your traditional 9mm. What I found interesting as well, these are reloads. You can see they're dirty or they're, they're older. These are their reloads, but high quality, high standard. They're using a full metal jacket. None of that cheap, nasty Teflon coating or lead exposed lead. So the idea is a little bit cleaner, a little bit more consistent. You know? Yeah, it's nice. Awesome. Okay, we're at the outdoor range. Very interesting. Look, Rock Island Armory. That's the US um, marketing. The US brand name. So officially it is Arms Corps, but just in US for whatever reason they went with Rock. See the guys setting up the papers. The staple gun. So we got our safety equipment and hardware. Uh, yeah, so that's all included. The target papers are included, so it's nice. We're good to go. See, they're giving a training lesson. It's nice. It's important, guys. So, you, one, it's safer until you don't look like an idiot when you're missing the target. You know, I was saying press, slow press. Yeah, just like with the camera. Yeah, much better. Much better. 
Also, Andre, if you extend your hands fully, then, yeah, 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 your yeah. joints are stronger. You're much stronger like that, yeah. Then, yeah right. Lean forward. forward. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, perfect. Uh, so you can ride it? You can ride it? No, it's okay. Yep. What you can do, you can, you can ride your thumb? Yeah, just yes, like, yeah. Right. Good, good move. Yeah. Squeeze slowly. Like. Yeah, much better. Yeah, I have to do it like this. Squeeze, yeah. Yeah, slow press. Very good. And then you're more stable. That's, yeah, you're a very fast learner. It's good. Range time with B Adventures. Okay, so for the new shooters, guys, it's empty. Just to confirm it on camera, nothing in the magazine wall, okay? I'll just try fire it real quick. Yeah, nice, nice, very nice trigger, nice size. So for the new shooters, try and keep, this is what we're training Andre in. Try and always index your finger so it's always safe. Secondly, see I've got a gap, right? It's a path of least re resistance. This is going to try and jump out. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but it will move around. So to control it, I'm right-handed, obviously. I've got a nice high grip. New shooters tend to do that. Okay, you want to get as high as possible, right? That way it's less recoil, and that's what new shooters are scared about, right? So it's actually recoils less. See that gap? I'm going to fill it up with my hand at a 45 degree angle. The problem is if I go like this or like this, we still got a gap. So I'm going to fill that, that gap there, even put my thumb right up here. And also, over here, my fingers, I'm going to lock them like a claw. I've done this before and I didn't lock it properly and it jumped. It actually jumped out. So we'll try one more time. Again, this is just dry fire practice. Exhale, this respiratory pause. I've got shaky hands just by nature. So I can see the sights shaking. Yeah, maybe a little bit better. Yeah, nice. The 1911 by nature has a very nice trigger. It runs on rails and goes directly backwards. I'll show you guys like that. So it's a very stable trigger by nature and flat faced. So yeah, it just feels nice. Very crisp, very short. And this particular pistol has very nice sights. Very nice uh, target sights. So. Yeah. So anyway, the idea is just practice, get used to it, warm up to the gun first so you're not wasting your bullets. And that way, hopefully, you know, you're just getting used to it all, practicing, um, you know, safe gun handling. But um, very important for new shooters just because we're talking with Andre and you know he's my friend, he's a good guy, but the first thing you want to do is wave it around, you want to muzzle people. So either put it down or just always have it in a safe direction down or up. Anyway, enough hoo ha, thanks for watching. Okay guys, this is one of the earlier original models, the 22 TCM. I didn't realize this is double stack. Look at it, this is a bad boy man, look how fat this is. What I mean is it has two columns of bullets, or a double column. Very nice. So this is 16 rounds? Yes. Wow, man, that's a lot of firepower. Uh, because I thought it was a single stack, but even in my hand it felt so thin, like so ergonomic. I thought it was um, a single, so I like it. I like it, very nice. Anyway, in combination with this 1911 platform, it has a very good lockup by nature. It usually has two locking lugs up the top of the barrel and down here where that pin is. And it's a metal frame, so being a metal frame, it absorbs the recoil. It's very nice. Obviously, this is unloaded. And we're still, we're still doing dry fire training. We're still doing dry fire practice, so. Just point it up. Just point it up or point it down. Oh, you hold it to set, you sit like this. Oh, you, you want to lock it back. Yeah, yeah, good move. Yeah, yeah. See, again, so everyone knows it's empty. Yeah, cool. Open slide. Yeah. See, same thing. All right, cool. Look at that, pretty tight. You held it pretty tight, very nice. See, see the difference when you give someone a quick training session? Okay. 
All right, 16 rounds. First time with a uh, 22 TCM. Shoot another one up top. Okay. Gotta go over the top? No, no. Shoot that. Again. Oh, do, am I shooting low? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay, I'm shooting low. Okay. That is nice. Nice. Right, so the first group was low, the second one was high, but nice and tight. Look how tight those bullets and bullets touching. Bullet and bullet touching, right? Very nice. So I'm not saying that to show off, guys. My point is, it's a very flat, accurate caliber. So for what it is, it's just a pistol caliber. But hey, it's nice to document it and see what it can do. All right, guys, we're shooting from 10 meters now. 10 meters, 22 TCM. I'm shooting on the right side of the target. I'm gonna move around, maybe go, go for the top. Just move it around a little. Oh. Malfunction. Got a malfunction on yep. I think it was a feeding issue. We'll see. And E. We're empty. We're clear. Um, that's weird. It's like this sand. If you take a look. Is it like sand? Maybe it's a bit of uh, failing sand. 
I, I think there's some sand in the chamber, just to show you guys, just to be fair. I think there's actually some sand in there. I don't know if the camera can focus. Okay, okay. Just to show the guys, yeah. So it might have something to do with it, but yeah. Maybe something happened, maybe someone dropped it in the dirt or it got dusty. But um... Okay, so my, I was stringing down, so you got a long string on the right side. And I don't know what happened up top. Maybe um, they, they went low. Yeah, just where they crack in the cardboard is, uh, they, went, they went low be below the top. I was dropping them around that crack. I'll show you guys what I mean. See that, that crack there? Uh, that crack in the cardboard? So that's, what, that's where the, when I was aiming high. Yeah, I'm just testing practical accuracy, guys. So it shoots straight, very flat. Um, low recoil, you know, very easy to manage, like it doesn't hurt or anything, not that pistols do, but uh, yeah. And the, the bullets are screaming out of very high velocity, right? I think it's like 2,000 feet per second. So anyway, the point is, it's like a, it's like a mini rifle cartridge, like a cut down 223. So yeah, it's interesting. Where are you aiming at the center? That way. So, so, we have one more. Two more. Two more. Okay. Andre and I wanted to have some fun, and uh, we just wanted to see what it's like to shoot one-handed, just to practice some some uh, drills. So, all right. That sucks. But obviously it's better to support it, but we're just trying it out. I'm actually going to turn my body. Oh, yeah. Safety's on. You can really see the fireballs coming out of this thing. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but yeah, that high velocity blast. Anyway, so I'm going to try left-handed now. That really sucks because that's my weekend, but hey, the idea, the reason why you practice, what happens if your right hand's injured or you're injured in some way, you still got to shoot, you know, even if it sucks. Even left-handed in my weak hand, it's not too bad. It's not even snappy. It's just a uh, very loud bark, very loud blast, but yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. But yeah, low recoil. Last uh, two bullets. Sorry? Last two bullets. Last, oh, last two? Yes. Oh, last two. I thought yes. you said I had two magazines. Okay. 16 magazines. One magazine, 16. Oh, right, right. Well, guys, this is my last two. I thought you said two magazines. I only got two left. <laughs> I'm going to make them count, no? All right. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm having fun. Well, she 
it's warm. Well, it's not a detailed review, guys, but it's a lot of fun. I can certainly see um, the applications for this uh, round or this caliber. I'd love to see it in a rifle, even a bolt action rifle. The arms Corps do make one, a bolt action rifle in 22 TCM. The reason why that extra bit of velocity, high pressure cartridge, probably work better out of a longer barrel. But yeah, it's fun. It's fun. It's not replacing anything, but it's just another option. It's fun. I like it. Okay, 22 TCM. Okay, guys, Andre was really cool, and he gave me a couple of rounds just to try out the 9mm. 9mm. Okay. Something about, I don't know, it's it's obviously just us. Oh, what was that? Yeah. I thought uh, I only had five. Only had five. But. It's a start because people like the. Oh, and the bullets are no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. That's why. Yeah. No, no, it's, um, it's empty. But I'll just quickly show on camera. Okay. Guys, that's why we do the whole. Uh, they told me it was five. I fired five and I racked it, and there, there was more. Uh, that's why you always check. So. I know it seems like a new thing, but it is important. Did you, Andre? Anyway, well, we'll stop there because I said I'd only shoot five. But uh, yeah, very nice, very nice shooter. You know, solid metal frame. You know, nice and stable, low recoil, and sweet trigger. Yeah, very nice, very nice trigger. Yeah. Okay, arm score. Hold on. Yep, you're in frame. How do you feel? Scared. Scared, really? <laughs> it's great. You can take great it off. experience, yes. Yeah? Come forward. Why? What did you like about it? It's a rush. It's some uh, a way of uh, adrenaline rush. Yeah. And uh, I recommend it to your friends. <laughs> 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 it's a nice experience. And what did you maybe not like or something to be aware of to, to look out for as a new shooter? You know, I was like pointing the gun in the wrong way. Muzzling it's people. It's very dangerous. You can lose a friend. You know, yeah. Yeah. No, I warned him I'd kick his ass if he muzzled me. So, yes. so what we're talking about is just pointing the muzzle in the safe direction, obviously downrange. It's dangerous. Yeah. And I recommend it to grown up people. Yeah. Mature yeah. People yeah, only bring mature people yeah. to the range. Yeah. Absolutely. Totally agree. That's perfect. Actually, I'll come and, I'll come and join you. Again. No, but um, that's also another shooting tip, guys. Don't bring your mature people to the range. Like, if you don't feel comfortable, or if you cannot supervise them 100% of the time, don't do it. And um, that actually came up where uh, I took someone less mature to the range, and they were muzzling people. It was a girl. She picked up a pistol and started muzzling people. I was so busy on the camera making videos, she came up behind me, just like if he was me, and put the gun to my ribs. Hey, what do I do? What do I do? Loaded pistol, you know, so anyway, just a little training tip there. Uh, guys, as usual, don't forget to clean up. We're actually very clean because I use brand new factory ammo. Usually your hands would be filthy by now. Yes, you do. Yeah, so we, of course, just wash up with soap, um, remove any of that gun residue and lead residue. And uh, of course, thanks for watching. I just wanted to show how many bays they have. It is amazing, they got so many bays. So, you know, it comes all the way down. We were up there earlier, obviously. Uh, awesome day. Awesome day, very professional range, just like the other arm score ones. This one being a bit bigger and outdoor. And also, uh, yeah, very, very good for competition shooters and it's, it's geared towards that. Also, many celebrities have come out here too, including Chief De La Rosa, or Chief Pato, uh, of the PNP. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. The adventure's out.